Hey, what's up, guys? This is Kev, and you're watching Noise Tech. I will show you a new kind of a navigation bar that you can get on your device. There are some great gestures on this navigation bar, and it's seriously worth downloading. So the name of the app is Fluid Navigation Gestures. These navigation gestures that you can see at the bottom of your screen are because of the navigation gestures. Suppose you swipe up, you will see a small animation effect at the bottom. You can customize these options as well. You can easily swipe up and go to the home screen or swipe up and hold to go into the multitasking panel. There are some more gestures such as swiping from the left or from the right or from the bottom half of your screen from the right or from the left. A small swipe or a larger holding swipe will take you to a particular app such as I swipe from the left and it will take me to the back screen or when I hold this will take me to snapchat if there are no apps in a multitasking panel this will take you to the, your last visited app these swiping gestures are really good if you need to open an app with a swipe then you'll need to buy the pro version there are other options such as you can change the sensitivity of the app or you can change the personalization this normal white gesture that you see at the bottom can be easily changed you can do it with the help of this app there are some really good animations within the app then there is a blacklist option as well you can stop this gesture within a particular app then comes permission there's one thing you need to provide a permission from your pc it requires an adb command from your pc and then this app will work flawlessly you don't need a root access if you have root access then you don't need the command but if you don't have root access you will need the command because removing the default navigation bars can only be done by providing a command that is a very simple command just do it from your adb folder from your pc and then you're done after you have provided the command you will see a tick over here and then you can disable your phone's navigation bar and remember if you want to uninstall this app first enable your normal navigation bar of your phone only after that you should be uninstalling this app otherwise you're gone yes there's a big problem over here that if you uninstall the app and you do not enable the navigation bar you will have problems so guys this was a quick video on the fluid navigation bar which is a really good app thanks for watching guys because that really helps thumbs if you liked it subs if you loved it see you in the next one